Hi everybody, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel on theoretical physics. Um, I'd like to add another video on books. Mostly this is a topic video. I recently bought a new book on um, scattering theory. So I will um, devote this um, to scattering. And um, scattering is an extremely important subject in um, theoretical physics, and um, it's important in classical as well as quantum mechanics. Mostly I'll cover quantum mechanics and quantum field theory today, but um, it's usually like a difficult subject, and it's usually the last subject taught in like a quantum mechanics course, and it's, um, it's very important. So let me just start by emphasizing that you do cover it in classical physics. This is a um, a beginning classical physics book, and you could see on um, chapter um, thirteen, they are, I'm sorry, chapter fourteen. They have collision theory. Sometimes they call it scattering theory, and sometimes they call it um, collision theory. But um, Anyway, it's, um, it's quite important, and um, it's covered, you know, also like in, in books like on Goldstein, you know, chapter, uh, let's say chapter three, they'll have like the central force problem, and in section 310, scattering. So it's covered in usually mechanics books. And also in um, let me just see, and also in um, like classical electromagnetism books. If you look at like Jackson, um, chapter ten, you know, third edition, scattering and diffraction. So it's usually a, a long chapter on scattering and spherical waves and sometimes vector diffraction theory, and um, various things on the optical theorem, all done in a, um, a classical manner. And same thing with uh, modern electrodynamics on Zangwill, chapter 21, scattering and diffraction. So almost all um, classical mechanics books and classical electromagnetism books have a chapter or two on scattering. Um, you know, classically, scattering is important for things like blue sky and, you know, waves and propagation and everything. Quantum mechanically, scattering is the only way we get information really about elementary particle physics, and it's extremely important in atomic, molecular, and nuclear physics. It's the main way of getting information. Now, there are a lot of... Um, monographs that were written, you know, a lot of these go back to the early 60s. This is one, I, I'm not familiar with this book, this is one of the first books, it's a thousand pages on collision theory, but usually years later they're published in Dover books. Now, some of these have infinite detail, and I think this is one of them. Here's another one, um, another Dover edition book um, by Newton, Second edition covers a lot. Um, if you look at the table of contents, you'll see that he starts with um, general results and he does a lot of classical stuff first, scattering of classical particles, and then he goes into quantum scattering theory. And, you know, like I said, these are usually long, infinite detail books more than the uh, average student needs, but it's not a bad idea. Um, like I said, that often cheap Dover books are available. Um, if you're interested in rigor, which you know I'm not, but there is a um, a volume three of the four volume work on functional analysis by Reed and Simon. Volume three is on scattering theory. And it's, um, you know, this is the volume three of Methods of math Modern Mathematical Physics. And, you know, this is the type of thing if you're a Ph.D. student and you're um, 
focusing on scattering, you, you'll probably read this. But for most of us, we're never going to read anything this detailed and this mathematical. Um, now, almost all quantum mechanics books cover have a chapter, usually at the end of the book, on scattering. Barton Zybeck's new book on quantum mechanics, Mastering Quantum Mechanics, which is like an excellent book for many, many reasons, the last two chapters are devoted to scattering. And what I really like is that he does scattering in one dimension, where you really understand things like time delay and Levinson's theorems and phase shifts. Then he goes to the three-dimensional case. So it's one of the better treatments where you can understand because usually you don't cover things like phase shifts and time delay and all these things until you study it in three dimensions. But it's good to see it in one dimension where it's a lot easier to understand what's going on. So this is one of the better treatments of scattering in a, in a standard um, undergraduate quantum mechanics book. Um, if you go to a graduate level quantum mechanics book, I think the best treatment is by Weinberg. He's got um, two chapters on scattering. He does the potential scattering first. And um, he does all the things with the Born approximation, phase shifts, resonances, Levinson's theorem, and Coulomb scattering. And then he does like a general scattering theory, which is more like oriented toward quantum field theory, where you do cross sections, general optics, partial wave expansion and everything. So he has a more detailed treatment in um, his graduate level quantum mechanics books than almost all other graduate level books have. And um, when you go to quantum field theory, Weinberg also has um, in his... Um, three-volume trilogy on quantum field theory, which is very advanced, but volume one, which is accessible, he has a chapter three on scattering theory, and he said this is really, this was published before his quantum mechanics book was, he says it's really material that should be taught to undergraduates or beginning graduate students, but often is um, not. So he, um, he, he has a chapter in his quantum field theory book where he sort of covers all the things that he covered in, in his lectures on quantum mechanics as well. It's probably a little bit more detailed here and oriented toward quantum field theory, but it's very similar treatment. Now, um, the standard, you know, quantum field theory book, Peskin and Schroeder, in their chapter four, they have uh, sections on cross sections and the S matrix. And that's where they like do their scattering theorems and, and develop the formulas that are used in all the quantum field theory textbooks. Peskin and Schroeder recommend, say that they follow the treatment by um, Taylor's book, which I'm going to get to in a second. So if you want more detail, you get this book, which I just purchased. So far from what I've read about this book, it's very, very good because it's simple. It, first of all, it only covers non-relativistic collisions and only quantum mechanics. It's a 500-page Dover book that I got for like $16. And it's very cheap, but he tries to be as elementary as possible, like cover the simplest case as well. And um, you can see he covers... Um, all the basics of scattering, spin, different channels, um, the Green's functions, Born series. You know, this is all covered in sort of like very quickly in some quantum field theory books. Some of it's not covered. But if you really wanted like a detailed treatment of scattering at like a beginning graduate level or an advanced undergraduate level, this seems like one the best book on it that I can find right now. So um, anyway, that's my recommendations. And this also happens to be a very cheap book. Um, so to summarize, you know, if you want to read just a quantum mechanics book, I left out another good book to read, which is in um, Schiff's book on quantum mechanics. 
Let me just Um, okay, they don't, anyway, he's got a very long chapter on scattering as well, which is, um, I guess I, I highly recommend. So if you want to, it's similar to, um, what Weinberg does in his, um, lectures on quantum mechanics book. But so if you want like a standard quantum mechanics textbook treatment, I recommend, um, Barton's book at the undergraduate level and for his treatment of 1 and 3D separately. Then Weinberg's lectures on quantum mechanics has two chapters, excellent on, on scattering and collisions. Schiff has an excellent long chapter on scattering in this old 1968 quantum mechanics book. And then um, quantum, field, quantum Theory of Fields, Volume 1, has a chapter 3 on scattering by Weinberg. And then you go to the uh, to the books that are specifically on scattering. I recommend Taylor's book, and you know if you want more detail after that, you can look at advanced books like Reed and Simon, or Watson and Goldberger. I think it's Goldberger. Newton's book. Newton's book does both Goldberger and Watson. Newton's and Newton's book covers classical aspects, but also the if you're interested in the classical aspects, I would start with you know a classical mechanics book like um, Taylor and um, an electromagnetism book, you know like Zangwill's or Jackson's. So that's all I have to say about scattering. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.